Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. My name is Lizelle and today's video, it's gonna be something a little bit different. I'm gonna be doing something that I actually really hate doing in real life. So you know when you're like put in those uncomfortable situations at school or in a new workplace where you have to go around in the group and tell everybody a fact or two about yourself, like I actually really hated doing that and I still don't like doing it. But today I'm gonna be telling you guys uh, 20 random facts about myself because I feel like a lot of you guys watch my videos but you don't know me that personally. I just want to tell you guys random facts about myself and also what I want you guys to do is comment down below, tell me a fact or two about yourself. If I have to do it, you guys got to do it too. I just want to like get to know you guys. <laughs> if you guys do enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and if you are new here and you're not subscribed to my channel, you might want to subscribe, you might not want to after learning all these facts about me, but if you do, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and yeah, that's about it. So let's get into the video. Random fact number one, when I was younger, I actually really hated my name and let, let me explain why. So you know when you go into those like gift shops or novelty stores and you see those keychains with kids' names on them? Well, I could never find one for myself, obviously, because my name isn't very common. I just hated my name I wanted to have like a straightforward easy basic name I hated it and I told my dad dad when I grow up when I'm 18 I'm gonna change my name and I want to be called Violet no shade towards anybody called Violet I think it's a beautiful name but I just can't picture myself being called that and I don't even know like what came across me to want to be called that like it doesn't even suit me at all random fact number two this kind of has something to do with the first one but my name has always been pronounced two different ways. So obviously because I'm mixed, I am half Filipino. All of my Filipino side would call me Lizelle and all of like the rest of everybody I knew would call me Liesl. So naturally I always responded to both because I was super shy and whenever the people at school and whatnot would call me Liesl, I would never correct them. I would just be like, yeah, I'm here. Yes, that's me. So yeah, I've always just responded to both. People ask me, what do you say personally? And it honestly depends who I'm talking to. Like obviously in all my videos, I say that my name is Lizelle, but whenever I go out in my daily life and I talk to like strangers or whatever, sometimes I catch myself saying Liesl. And yeah, so <laughs> I know it's weird and I've always just responded to both. So yeah, I technically, I don't know how to put this, but yeah, I, I prefer Lizelle over Liesl, but yes, my name has always been pronounced two different ways. Random fact number three, when I was younger, I used to sleepwalk, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people would have done this as well, but like, mine was next level. So my mom told me that I would just sometimes get up and I would stand in front of her and just like, look at her, even though I'd be dead asleep, guys, I would be dead asleep, like could not remember a thing, but I would just stare at her. And I think one time she got so freaked out that she took me, put me in the shower and turned the cold water on to wake me up. And I woke up and I started crying because I did not know what the hell was going on. And she told me that, yeah, I was just standing there staring at her. And there's so many times that my mom told me where I would like, try to go outside or I'd go out onto the patio and just stare into the garden. There were even times where I'd like open my bedroom window and just like lean out and stare at the sky, like weird stuff like that. And honestly, sleepwalking, I don't know why I used to do it. I haven't done it ever since I was younger, but it's pretty crazy if you think about it that you can get up to so much stuff and not even be like, fully conscious for it, it's just crazy. Fact number four, when I was younger, I used to collect caterpillars and I don't exactly know what caterpillars they are, but I'm gonna insert a picture of them because I'm pretty sure I can find a photo if I look online. But yeah, I used to collect caterpillars and I was so obsessed with these caterpillars. I used to collect them with my neighbors and we'd like put them in little containers and make sure they had enough air in there and we'd feed them every day and clean out their little cage. And then sometimes they would disappear and we'd be like, where the hell did the caterpillar go? And little did we know that the caterpillar had actually gone off 
to go and turn into a butterfly. Yeah, I was obsessed, like obsessed with having pet caterpillars. <laughs> Fact number five, I fell out of a tree when I was younger and I have a massive scar down my back to prove it, but I'm not gonna get up right now to show you guys because I don't even, I can't even remember which side it's on. But yes, I was such a monkey when I was little, like I loved to climb trees. So one afternoon I was just climbing a tree and one of the branches had been cut. I'm pretty sure my dad had like pruned the tree and I fell from the top onto this half chopped branch and it went into my back. I screamed, but like, because like my mom was really strict, I didn't want to get in trouble with her for climbing the tree. So I like ran up to my room and I just changed my shirt and I like lied on my bed and was like, <laughs> crying and my mom came in and she was like what's wrong with you and I was like nothing fact number six I used to be vegetarian and no it wasn't by choice it was actually when I was a lot younger my family did decide to go vegetarian for a little while because I guess my parents just wanted to go on like I don't know they just wanted to be vegetarian so we all kind of had to get in on it and um, I just hated it I really hated it and I'm not gonna get into the whole like concept of being vegan or vegetarian and whatnot because it's just not my place to say anything about that. Yeah, for a few years we were vegetarian and I just remember having to have a lot of tofu, eating a lot of fruits and veggies and just being really jealous that everybody else could have cheeseburgers and I couldn't. Fact number seven, I used to be a massive tomboy. When I was younger, all I wanted to do was like ride bikes, play football, play soccer. I just was like, not a girly girl. And I'm sure a lot of people who knew me when I was younger, who see me now, probably wouldn't have thought that I'd turn out to be the way that I am because I'm super girly. I love everything completely opposite to that. But when I was younger, I was just so into like everything that boys would do. And I know there is no like label as to what girls can do and what boys can do. But yeah, I just was not a girly girl. All I wanted to do was like skateboard, play footy and just be outside all the time. Fact number eight, some of you guys may know this if you watch my vlogs or if you've been watching my channel for a while, but yes, I have two younger brothers and they are twins. They actually don't like being on camera, which is probably why you don't see me include them as much in vlogs as I do with like my mom or dad. Uh, my brothers, they just don't want to be on my channel, which is completely fine. There is actually a six year difference between us. And when we were younger, I feel like everybody made such a big deal about it that there was a six year age gap. But now that we're older, I feel like the age difference isn't that significant anymore. So yeah, I grew up with two younger brothers who are twins. Fact number nine, when I was in school, I never could take swimming classes. I did for a little bit and then I had to stop because it turns out I was allergic to the chlorine. And I don't think this applies to me anymore because I have swum in chlorine pools since I was that age and I have no reaction anymore. But when I was in primary school, whenever I would swim in a chlorine pool, like all these little webbed bits between my fingers and my toes would just like, this is gonna sound gross guys, but it would just like rot away. And I don't know why, but it would just get really dry and like scaly and then it would start to get infected and pussy. And I know that sounds really disgusting and it was very disgusting, but I remember always seeing like all these scabs in between all my fingers and whatnot. So yeah, the doctor pretty much brought it down to me being allergic to chlorine, which was kind of a good thing for myself because I didn't really like swimming. I can swim, but I just didn't like doing swimming class. So I didn't have to participate in swimming carnivals and I didn't have to do swimming class. Whenever there was a swimming class, I would just sit in the grandstand and just do whatever I wanted. Fact number 10, you guys are gonna kill me for this. When I was in high school, I used to fill my brows in with eyeliner. Yes, I said it, with eyeliner. And I'm not talking brown eyeliner. I mean like black eyeliner. I swear, I need to go to my parents' house and dig up like old high school photos of myself. So I can show you guys what I look like with my Chola looking eyebrows. But honestly, my eyebrows were so thin and so dark. I was like the epitome of Chola brows. Like my brows were just like, mm -mm, black. Fact number 11, I have a really bad habit of not finishing things. And CJ, my boyfriend, is totally gonna vouch for this. And I'm sure if he were here right now, he would come in and be like, oh my God, yes, that's so true. So whether it be like food or drinks or just maybe even daily tasks, <laughs> I just like don't finish things. I know that's a really, really bad habit, I know. But even like with my food, whenever I eat my food, I will just like leave a little bit behind. And it's not that I don't want to eat it. I just 
leave it there. I don't know, like I just always have to leave something behind. It's weird, especially with drinks, you guys. Oh my goodness. This is the reason why there are so many like random empty water bottles everywhere. I mean, I've definitely cleaned up my act. I don't do it as bad anymore. When CJ and I first started living together, he was like, why the heck are there so many water bottles everywhere? And they're not even empty yet. Like some of them will be half full, some of them will be like a quarter full. I don't know why, but I just like, I can't finish this. <laughs> Fact number 12, I used to have red hair and I'm not talking like I was a redhead. I'm talking like I dyed my hair bright red. And if I can find pictures for you guys, <laughs> cringy, but I'm gonna show you guys. This was the time when Rihanna's red hair was like popping and everybody was coloring their hair bright red. So I was like, you know what? I wanna pull that off as well. So I went and dyed my hair bright red. I did it all myself and I ruined my hair by the end of it. I'm pretty sure I had my hair red for like a year, a year and a half. And by the end of it, my hair was cooked. Like it was just, mm. but yeah, it was good while it lasted. Um, CJ really liked it. His favorite color is actually red. So that was like part of my reasoning as to why I colored it red. But really, I just thought it would look popping with red hair, so. Fact number 13, I hate, hate, hate mushrooms. And I'm saying hate because I have a very strong hate towards them. I'm not so bad with them now, but when I was younger, oh my goodness, put a mushroom on my plate and I would scream. Like I was physically scared of them. Like I just hated the texture and the way that they feel in your mouth. I don't know. That sounds really weird. <laughs> yeah, I just don't like mushrooms at all. I can kind of deal with them now though. When I was younger, I, I would not go near a mushroom at all. But now I can kind of have it if it's like on pizza, of course, who doesn't want pizza? Or if it was like mixed in with my food, I can eat it like that, but I just, I hate mushrooms. Fact number 14, I was super athletic when I was younger and I'm talking like I trained, I had a, I actually had a coach, like I was very much into my cross country and athletics. I did like training after school. I loved it at the time, but as soon as I hit puberty and I got my period, I was like, hey, I'm out of this. Like I'm not doing this anymore. I wish I was still as like physically fit as I was before. Um, yeah, I'm definitely not like that anymore. Fact number 15, I have been working ever since I was legally able to. So back in the day, oh my gosh, I sound so old when I say that. But back in my day, you could start working when you were 14 and nine months. I'm pretty sure that was the exact age that you had to be to work. I, I think now you can be 13 with parental consent. But yeah, when I was 14 and nine months, I was like, that's it. I'm gonna go out and get a job so that I can buy the shit that I want to buy. So my first job was actually working at KFC. I was the register chick, the drive through chick, the making the burgers in the back chick, like, yeah. And ever since then, I've always had a job and I've always been working. Fact number 16, I absolutely love video games. I don't know you guys who are like actual gamers are probably like this bitch. I'm definitely not like some kind of advanced gamer who's really, really good, but I mean, not to toot my horn or anything, I did teach CJ how to play COD, so, you know. I do prefer PlayStation, and the game that I probably like to play the most is Call of Duty. Also, I have played God of War recently, but that's pretty much just a button bashing game. So, yeah, I'd have to say my favorite game is Call of Duty. Fact number 17, if you guys know me personally, then you would know that I love The Simpsons. Like. I grew up not being allowed to always watch The Simpsons. Like my parents were kind of strict growing up and they were like, no, we're not watching The Simpsons. We're gonna watch something else. We're gonna watch the news. So every chance that I could watch The Simpsons, I would go and sneak and watch The Simpsons. And now that I'm older and I can obviously watch whatever I want, even if I've seen a Simpsons episode five times, I will still sit there and watch it. Like, I don't know what it is, but I will just sit there and watch the same episode. I don't care if I've already seen it 20 times before, I'll still watch it. And I'll even tell CJ like, oh, I've seen this episode, let's watch. Fact number 18, I know a lot of you guys probably aren't going to believe me when I say this, but I am super, super, super introverted. Like I'm definitely a shy person. But in saying that, I'm like the type of person where I'm really shy at first. And then once you get to know me, I'm crazy. Like you'll be like, dang, I can't believe you were so shy in the beginning. Like I have a shell to break through, but in my videos, obviously you can't tell that because even though I'm talking to you right now, I'm staring at a camera and it doesn't feel like I'm talking to an audience. But 
The fact that I have so many people watching me, I could not even picture standing up in front of that many people and just talking about myself. But yeah, I'm very much so an introverted person. I just prefer to stay home. I don't like meeting new people as bad as that sounds. Like I just, I get really nervous and I just get really uncomfortable whenever I'm in a place with a lot of people. Like if there's a crowd of people, I will start to get really bad anxiety and I would just much rather prefer to be at home. I'm such a homebody. Fact number 19, I was not allowed to wear makeup when I was younger, thanks to my mom, which I'm like not mad at her about. Like I have no issues with her not letting me wear makeup when I was younger. I'm pretty sure if I had a daughter, I would probably want to restrict the age in which she starts to wear makeup. I don't know what that age would be, but I actually used to go into my mom's makeup drawer and I would like pinch her eyeliner and I would just wear eyeliner. Like that was the first makeup product that I ever wore was just black eyeliner and I thought I was like popping. I thought I was so cute with my black eyeliner, my big bushy brows. I had really big bushy brows when I was younger before the tweezers got into them. But yeah, I would just think I was so cute with my black eyeliner and nothing else. I don't know if it's a Filipino thing or just a mum thing in general, but yeah, my mum was like really strict with me growing up and I wasn't allowed to wear makeup. So it's, it's crazy now that like, I have such a passion for it because anybody who knew me when I was younger definitely wouldn't have thought that I would be doing makeup like I do now. And fact number 20, I actually don't have a fact. Like I don't know what my last random fact would be, but I just want to say that I never thought that I would be where I am now. Like honestly, I did not think I would be the type of person to be talking to an audience and have 20 something thousand people subscribe to my channel, listening to the things that I say. Like that's insane to me. I love you guys so much. And honestly, you all don't even understand. Like I'm, pr I'm pretty sure you would understand like the impact that you've had on me. I know I'm not a big YouTuber. I am definitely a smaller channel, but the impact that you guys have had on me is just insane. I was having like a conversation with CJ the other day and I was just saying like, I'm so blessed and lucky that I have you guys. <laughs> I am just so grateful to have the support of the people who support me and um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop now, otherwise I'm gonna get emotional. But anyway guys, that is the end of the video. Those were all the facts that I had to share with you guys. I definitely want to hear some facts from you guys. You better comment down below and tell me about yourself because if I had to do it, then you have to do it as well. As always, give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you still want to subscribe to my channel after hearing all these random facts, then feel free to hit the button below. Also, if you want to follow me on any of my social media accounts, you can find all of the details below as well. And with that being said, I hope you guys are having a fabulous week and I will catch you all in my next video. Stay glowy. Thank you.